In this video, we are going to talk about reliability and how to distinguish it from validity. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. While validity is the degree to which a test or tool measures what it claims to measure, or in other words, the accuracy of a test, Reliability is the degree to which a test or tool produces similar results under consistent conditions, or in other words, the precision of a test. A good reliability of a test or tool is important because if the people who interpret the test cannot agree on the interpretation, the test result will be of little use. We can distinguish between intra-radar reliability and inter-radar reliability. Intra-radar reliability relates to the agreement between different measurements of one person and the inter-radar reliability relates to the agreement between two or more radars. Now let's look at both concepts of validity and reliability and how they relate to each other with the famous dartboard example. The bullseye represents the golden standard. In scenario A, we hit the bullseye by chance, so this dart was accurate, while all other darts are covered everywhere over the dartboard. So we had bad precision, or in other words, poor reliability. An example could be a pivot shift test, for example, for an ACL tear, which is an accurate test but hard to perform. So if you are untrained, it could be that your results are not consistent. In scenario B, we are precise or reliable because all of our shots land together, but we are not accurate because we didn't hit bullseye once. An example could be a scale that always measures 5 kilos too much. So our daily weighing would be pretty consistent, but not accurately displaying our actual weight. In scenario C, we are neither reliable nor accurate. And in scenario D, we are both reliable and accurate. So, to sum it up, reliability is an important concept in statistics and without a good reliability, the best clinical test in the world will be useless because every test always relies to at least some degree on subjective interpretation by the observer. With training and with precise protocols, you will be able to improve the reliability with which you are performing clinical tests and measurements. Alright, so this was our video on reliability. If you want to dig a little bit deeper into that topic and you want to know what the kappa value is, click on the video right next to me. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel and follow us on various social media. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.